Aquarius, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for July 2018. And oh, Aquarius, this month I kind of feel for you just a little bit because you have got both a full moon total lunar eclipse and Mars retrograde in your sign. Plus, we've got retrograde energies and the sun coming into your seventh house. So definitely this dynamic pool between changes happening with you, changes happening with relationship, all while you're fighting for a new identity with Chiron and Aries to just kind of figure out what you think about some things, get your ducks in a row, right? So it can definitely be a month where maybe you're feeling the slowdown energy a lot more. Um, you have finally, I think, picked a couple projects that might actually work out for you. And if you haven't already started them, if you've even chosen them, that's great. But if you haven't quite started them yet, this is not going to be the month to push them forward. This is a month to be very, very retrograde, very reflective looking back. We've got Mars retrograde, Mercury retrograde, Chiron retrograde, Jupiter coming direct, and two eclipses, okay? So this is definitely a month where we're not shoving things forward. It's definitely going to be a slowdown, but that doesn't mean that it's terrible. I'll tell you all about it. All right, so right here at the beginning of the month on the 5th, Chiron is transiting Aries and it's going to take a retrograde. Now, Chiron transiting Aries, we're fighting for our identity anyways. What's my purpose? Do I belong here? I do belong here. How do I express myself? All of these things, we're fighting for an identity and this is in your third house. This is the house of study, of communication, of the mind, right? So I know you are on your mind a lot right now, how you're speaking, how you're communicating, how you're receiving information do you need to study something else if this is business for you um I, maybe you do maybe you don't have a website is it a good enough website see when chiron goes retrograde the first thing that it tends to run to the surface is a lot of doubt right we get this doubt about how things are how you are with these things but what really this energy is showing you about this month aquarius is looking at the limiting beliefs that you have or the lack of faith however you want to say it that keep you trapped in the box that you're in instead of growing out of it so you're going to definitely be working on that this month thank goodness we are slowed down enough that you have the opportunity to slow down as well to listen and to consider a retrograde takes us backwards we're looking into things okay on the next Venus is going to go into Virgo, lighting up your eighth house space. Now, Venus is a very attracting kind of energy, right? She does this. She's very, very magnetic. She's harmonious, diplomatic, sensual. She loves money. The eighth house is another money house. So this could definitely be the kind of energy where maybe your spouse or your partner or somebody that you're close to or share funding with gets a raise or something and it ends up benefiting you. You could have a bonus coming to you. You could have an inheritance coming to you. You could have any number of things that happen and kind of walk into your world that you didn't necessarily work for you know they're not coming out of your paycheck specifically but there's still a really nice benefit to you now one of the other things that i'm thinking about too here is that this is wonderful for intimacy venus loves the sensuality of deep um, connection so this would be so great i mean and even in intimacy we're not just talking about the intimacy of of romantic intimacy this can be the intimacy of just a great cup of coffee with a friend being like oh my gosh has the entire world just stopped or is it me you know this could be the intimacy of taking that astrology class right whatever it is there's just such a depth and a beauty that's happening right here for you as well now on the 10th jupiter is going to come direct in the sign of scorpio so this is beautiful in your career okay now keep in mind when I say career, if you are retired, if you are a stay-at-home parent, if you do something that is outside of the corporate structure, this still applies to you as well. Jupiter is here and he's our biggest benefit planet. So even when he's retrograde, he's like trinkling in benefits and opportunities and things like that. He's very generous. Now that he's coming direct, he's gonna just make it rain. The opportunities will become a lot more abundant. But remember with Jupiter energy, he puts the opportunity in front of you, but you have to move your feet to go get it. He's not just gonna hand it to you, but he will give you the opportunity and the resources you need to go after it. So in your career life, you can start to see some expansion, right? You see th things start to grow, things start to be a little bit more abundant in this place, which is absolutely gorgeous as well. Now, on the 12th, we've got a new moon partial solar eclipse happening at 20 degrees of Cancer. This lights up your sixth house. So for me, with this new moon happening, 
this is still our new moon of the month so we plant our seeds of intention what do you want here what do you want to come forward with you what are you trying to manifest right so this is a brand new fresh start beginning here in the sixth house which is the house of work freelance work employees um health daily routine, service, small animals, all of these things live in that house. Now, this solar eclipse is being opposed by Pluto. So one of the things that I think of with you, very specifically Aquarius, is if you're going to have some kind of opposition to something in a health practice or a dietary regime or even your mental life, you know, are you being met with opposition or challenge here? Does it feel a little bit like you're in a, in a power struggle a little bit here? If so, you're going to want to find alternative means, which you're very good at, to handling these tamped these things. Is it time to see a practitioner? Is it time to go to a chiropractor? Is it time for um, counseling? Something like that coming up for you. But whatever it is, I think that the other energy um, that's very specific is that it's asking you to be responsible for your sixth house things. So if it is your health, if it is your career and your coworkers, it, you're really being asked to step up to the plate so that you can have a new experience. You cannot have a new experience without your participation. So that's definitely on your agenda. Now, on the 22nd, the sun moves into Leo, and on the 26th, Mercury takes its retrograde here in Leo. So this has to do with relationships. Okay, the seventh house, which is your opposite energy, is relationships, partnerships, any place that we're doing those things. So one of the things I think of is that maybe because it's a retrograde, you're rethinking a relationship right this is a time where you could be going is this the right partnership for me is this where i fit do we want the same things whether this be a romantic relationship a partnership a friendship you with you you could still be shedding some of you aquarius that's for sure you could be like i don't know i don't think i believe that anymore but whatever it is you're doing it under the sun who has said pay attention to me i need you to make an adjustment here i want you to see me because i want to shine and be the best that i can be right and Mercury who said, okay, well, let's look at some things. We're gonna retrograde, we're gonna look back so that we can make good decisions going forward. Mercury retrograde is infamous for bringing back old lovers as well. So you could have somebody from the past blow into your world. I will tell you because Mars is still retrograde, if you can keep the physical um, off the table, that is the best for you because you could really tank something before it even gets off the ground. So kind of keep that in mind. We're in a lot of retrograde reflection energy, reflection, 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 okay? Now, on the 27th, we've got our full moon of the month. It's the full moon total eclipse that is happening in your sign. And this is along with this Mars being retrograde here as well. Now, this is our full moon, which means something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So there's a shift coming to you. And I think a part of the shift that could definitely um, be happening or be coming up for you, especially because this is so closely connected to Mars, um, is something about how you're presenting yourself. One of the things I keep thinking of is if you did something, said something, presented yourself in a way that somehow damaged your character, damaged your reputation, or maybe even people didn't know about you, you're really trying to make an adjustment so that you can come out, present yourself, and be seen much differently. Now, also with this new moon, solar eclipse happening up at the sixth house it does make me think about health are you being responsible and trying to take care of yourself differently and in order to do that you know to present yourself out there differently you realize okay i need to be watching what i'm eating okay i need to you know whatever it is in the in the health department or whatever it is in the daily routine if i want people to see me as responsible i gotta set my alarm clock 30 minutes early so that i can get up and be on time you're really trying to adjust here to get a new perception in in your outward environment and it's going to be slow and steady because mars is retrograde here so your real passion to make these changes is limited at best <laughs> It is going to be such an interesting month. You've got a lot of you slash partnership energy going around, and that always makes things interesting. But please keep me posted on absolutely everything that's happening. I love seeing how the forecasts are working out for you or what you're getting into. So put it in the comment section down below. If you need me, you can find me at stormygrace.com. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you throughout the month, okay? Bye, guys.